Many of Maine's small businesses have been navigating pandemic ups and downs. Some opened, some closed, and some reinvented themselves to survive. New Center Maine's Henny Yeshivi gives us a look at one of each. It's events like these where Jolene's Gourmet Catering thrives. But when COVID hit, there were fewer weddings. So Jolene's went from I do to I can. In an effort to try to get some income, more in, you know, regular income, just to be able to have the business survive, I thought, you know, this mac and cheese is very popular. Thinking outside the box got him to make these boxes of pure goodness. These are the family size that I'm making now. This tends to brown a little bit in the oven. Keeping Jolene busy and in business. And it would be exactly like what they would have had at one of our events. His fresh mac and cheese can now be found in seven small town supermarkets. I just turned it into a little mac and cheese factory over here. From a bustling factory to reopening the Tropical Taste and Styles International Market in Bangor. The pandemic forced us to shut our doors due to, of course, having children and so many other personal and life issues. Closed for two years. Now, owner Angela Cafo has restocked her shelves. We have um, food stuff from Africa, from the Caribbean. We have some Asian. We have from the Hispanic countries. Unique and yummy finds that you won't likely find at your big grocery store. Yeah, there were so many times I, I, I worried, I was scared, I wasn't going to be able to get back here, but... She says the community's love and support gave her the push she needed to turn the lights back on. Antic Alley here in downtown Bangor unfortunately closed its doors. Owner Glenn Ross Hudgens got sick, was hospitalized, and died from COVID late last month. He was 55. The business now up for sale. In Bangor, Hannah Yeshivi, New Center, Maine.